Hey everyone, so I got another great round of phone battles here featuring best phone from Apple, the Apple iPhone 7 Plus, and best one from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy A Plus. So let's go and power them both on. So obviously guys, these two phones, most popular on the market, makes this a really interesting matchup. Now the Galaxy A Plus is brand new, the iPhone by comparison around 7 months old at this point, but still your best option from Apple uh, until this fall. Alright, so Apple, extremely fast boot up time here. I believe that's the fastest on the market for any phone. And Galaxy is still very fast as well, as you guys see up now. Alright everyone, so quick look at the design of phones. So obviously the Galaxy phone looks a lot more futuristic looking. Uh, you have incredibly small bezels, both on the sides and top and bottom. By comparison, obviously the iPhone, much larger bezels. Um, so on the Galaxy, you do have a much larger screen, 6.2 inches versus 5.5. And that is despite the phones actually being pretty similar in size. Actually, the Galaxy is a little bit smaller in width. I think a little bit taller, not by much, as you guys can see right there. Pretty similar height, although the Galaxy is a tiny, tiny bit taller. But width makes a little bit of a difference. And this really matters for when you're holding the phone. I will say the Galaxy does feel a lot smaller just because of this. Although both phones are obviously pretty big, but with the Galaxy you do have an advantage in terms of design just because you have a much larger screen. Alright guys, now front facing camera is 7 megapixels on the iPhone, 8 on the Galaxy. So in terms of fingerprint scanner, definitely prefer the iPhone, you have it right here on the home button. For the Galaxy, no physical home button, so you have the fingerprint scanner right here on the back. Apparently Samsung was planning to have it underneath the screen but didn't work out, um, so we're left at this pretty poor option in my opinion on the back all right look at the bottom of the phones so on the iphone you're getting lightning uh lightning port on galaxy usb type c and galaxy does have a headphone jack iphone is not look at the side and the top and then the other side and the back so on the iphone you have a metal design on the galaxy of glass and the iPhone, you also have two rear-facing cameras. Um, both are 12 megapixels, and one is used to zoom. On the Galaxy, you have one at 12 megapixels, although I will say the zoom is pretty good on the Galaxy. Uh, both these phones, probably my top two choices in terms of zoom. All right, everyone, so you see I've been closed down on both. So let's get started with the upper until. So what... Oh wow, it's actually very surprising. Wow, that is extremely surprising. Looks like this is probably going to be a tie. Or even a slight edge for the Galaxy. That is extremely, extremely surprising because Apple never loses for games. Alright, next up we got NBC News. Alright, so that one was Galaxy, or rather the uh, iPhone. This galaxy was still refreshing. Next up, iFunny. Alright, so advantage for the galaxy here. And Zap can be very slow at times, as you guys saw there with the iPhone. Alright, YouTube next. Alright, so galaxy here. Calculator and clock. All right, eBay next. Oops, sorry guys, butchered that one. Try it again. All right, eBay. All right, so Vans here for iPhone. Ash Bolt 8. All right, so our second game, let's see if we have another surprising result here. All right, so this one going to the iPhone by about half a second. All right, guys, and next up, let's do their own versions, Samsung's and Apple's versions of the photos. 
So we got gallery for Samsung and photos for the iPhone. All right, that one looks like iPhone to me. And then let's go ahead and do ESPN. Now this app hasn't really been working this morning, but let's give it a few seconds to try out. Yeah, I've tried it on other phones this morning. This app always has a lot of issues, so rather than waiting for a minute, let's just close out. All right, guys, so next up, let's do some web browsing. Or actually, let's do settings and then we'll uh, do web browsing. All right, so that one looks like iPhone. And then web browsing. All right, everyone, so create out the web history on both. Uh, let's go to abc.com first. All right, so it looks like advantage here for the Galaxy. Let's do NBC next. Just doing short websites, so easier to type in. NBC.com. All right, so again, looks like, oops, sorry guys, my cell update. NBC.com, let's try IGN.com. IGN. All right, so advance here again with the Galaxy. And let's do one final one. Let's do Zelda. Zelda.com. All right, so again, looking like this one, gonna be the Galaxy. Alright everyone, so iPhone a little bit slower loading up Zelda. Um, may not have clicked on it properly, so want to be consistent. Let's try one final site with IBM.com blast. Alright, so again, this one going to the Galaxy. So yeah, pretty consistently Galaxy for web browsing. And you guys saw there, uh, that last ad at the bottom. And it is what I found in day day use. Alright, let's do Fingerprint Scanner next. So on the Galaxy, we'll get on the back, don't like the placement. On the iPhone, it's right here on the home button. But let's go ahead and test out the speed. All right, so it looks like the Galaxy a little bit faster here, fully loading up. Uh, fully loading up. Yeah, so Galaxy is way in terms of speed. Personally, guys, I definitely prefer the iPhone uh, in terms of fingerprint scanner, but Obviously, Galaxy is winning there for speed. Let's do camera speed next. And I'm gonna bring our cactus back. Just gonna snap a few pictures. And again, this is just to test out speed. We'll have an actual comparison on the channel later, but for now, it's testing out speed. And both cameras trolling every so so should be pretty, pretty fair here. I think pretty close, you guys don't know what to think of the comments. All right, so let's do multitasking last. All right, everyone, so let's do multitasking in a second, but for now, let's round off the specs. So on the Galaxy, larger screen, high resolution, 6.2 inches, 529 pixels per inch. On the iPhone, 5.5 inches, 41 pixels per inch. Front facing cam on iPhone, 700 pixels, on the Galaxy, it's eight. Rear facing on both is 12. Now on the iPhone, you do have two rear facing cameras. Uh, 32 one train at 256 gigabytes for the iPhone in terms of internal storage for the Galaxy 64. Galaxy does have micro SD card support, iPhone is not. 2900 capacity battery for the iPhone, 3500 for the Galaxy. 8 10 chipset and 3 gigabytes RAM for the iPhone, Snapdragon 835 and 4 gigabytes RAM for the Galaxy. The iPhone has stereo speakers, Galaxy is not. Both phones are waterproof, but the Galaxy has higher certification, so in theory, you should be able to take it underwater for longer. Lightning port on the iPhone, USB Type C on the Galaxy and no headphone jack on the iPhone. All right guys, so let's do temp run two first and watch closely on the iPhone because originally they're gonna display a picture. 
All right, so that was very that was very good on both. I think very tough to call. You guys let me know in the comments. Next up, NBC News. All right, so it looks like iPhone is Galaxy refreshing. iFunny next. All right, so you guys here on the iPhone is refreshing. So that one going to the Galaxy. YouTube. All right, so iPhone there. All right, I think iPhone there. All right, S48 next. All right, so another good sign, neither phone you voting it. Chrome. All right, so it looks like, yeah, iPhone there. And we'll do one final one. Let's do photos. All right, so yeah, guys, you, you saw on the iPhone, it originally was a different picture there. So uh, as I said, iPhone originally displays a picture, as you guys saw, it refreshed there. Um, so I think that that one was the Galaxy. All right, everyone. And last, let me show you into the benchmark. So I know people say that this is better optimized for the iPhone, but you do the highest score in iPhone 185,000 versus 168. Now keep in mind for the iPhone, this is the highest for any phone on the market, whereas on the Galaxy, it's the highest for any Android phone. So either way, you're getting great results there. And I think different operating systems kind of hard to directly compare them. Um, but regardless, extremely high scores in both. So guys, I think extremely close tests overall, very hard to call. Now, just because of that, I think you need to look at other factors, things like the battery life, the cameras, uh, the displays. Obviously, there's a lot more that goes into this other than just speed. Um, but yeah, guys, I think extremely close to both. Very tough to call, but I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments will have opinions, so let me know. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. You can do up click in the top left corner. Or you can watch another video by clicking the bottom right corner. Do have a lot more planned. Uh, a lot more for both these phones and thanks again for watching.